Love wins again as Ami releases marriage proposal female soldier. Private Hannah Sophia at Akinlabi. A female soldier detained for accepting the proposal of a corps member at the National Youth Service Corps NYC orientation camp in Ipata, Huara State, has been released. She had been detained for violating military rules and regulations by getting involved in a public display of an amorous relationship with a paramilitary trainee, a core member, the military said. Having taken an oath under the Armed Forces Act, the Nigerian Army said it was expected that the female soldier would be aware of such as an act of indiscipline, negligence of duty, and others capable of dragging the image of the army in the mud. Hence, Sophia was accused, among others, of having an amorous relationship with the trainee, of not being eligible for marriage until she had served three years, and of having a romantic affair while in army uniform. However, the Chief of Army Staff, COAS, Lieutenant General Farouk Yaya, instructed her release in the spirit of a Christmas celebration following interventions by well-spirited individuals. Many Nigerians have welcomed the release, saying that the COAS had again displayed his vision for a professional Nigerian army. But there was a lot of drama before the release with the families of the lovebirds saying that they knew each other even before the young lady joined the army while the National Youth Service Corps queried the core member who proposed to the female soldier. Also, human rights activist Omoele Shore started an online petition, Free Sophia, to get justice and freedom of private Akin Labi. The goal was to have 100 signatories, but it had surpassed that in less than an hour after its initiation. NYC Director General, Brigadier General Shwaibu Ibrahim, said at a briefing that the female soldier was never arrested, but was only going through a normal disciplinary measure. The DG had noted that a female soldier is not detained at any military facility but in a safeguard room where airing personnel are kept in enforcement of disciplinary actions. Also, Army spokesperson Oyema Wachuku said that it is an act of indiscipline for a tra trainer to engage in an affair with her trainee. He described the act as fraternization in military terms. He said, it is an act of gross misconduct for personnel to engage in romance while in uniform. The Nigerian Army has codes of conduct, rules and regulations guiding our personnel, our personnel whenever and wherever they are deployed for duty. Mwanchuku said the public perception would have been different if a male soldier had proposed to a female trainee, adding that the public would have seen it as taking advantage of a female trainee. These rules were put in place for the purpose of proper administration and discipline in the army. If I may ask, what if the soldier was a male? How would the public have perceived his action? Definitely. Who would have been perceived as taking advantage of a female core member, a trainee put in his care for training. The same applies here, he said. The Nigerian military, like all others, has its disciplinary code, distinct from that of a general society. Every personnel has voluntarily undertaken to be bound by this code. If you enjoyed this, please like, share and subscribe so you can get notifications.